potential contender for EP of the year is this one from DJ Swisher here, Nothing But Net. I've been aware of this guy for a little while because he did the album with Loz and Swisher, or Swisher and Loz, whichever way around it is. It's a, co a collaboration footwork album that came out in 2016. If you do remember, uh, you probably don't because not many people are going to remember minor details like this. But it did end up landing in my top 100 albums of the decade because I do think it's not only an essential footwork album for the 2010s, but it's just an essential album in general. I mean, it's just so fun. Bangers from start to finish. There's some really interesting samples incorporated too. Like towards the end of the album, there's a Lil Uzi Vert one that they kind of like manipulate and chop up and uh, twist around. It's great. So I feel like you should definitely check out that album. And thank you to my good friend Joey for alerting me about this new EP here, because I didn't know it had actually come out, but it came out in September. And um, obviously I'm a fan of this style of music, a fan of this guy, DJ Swisher. So I thought, why not check it out? And yeah, this is actually probably at the moment the best EP I've heard in 2020. That could easily change because there's a few more months <laughs> up until the end of the year. But like, yeah, this just uh, hits all the right spots for me and uh, is exactly what I want from this kind of music and is really, really pretty much on par with what he was doing previously. The footwork opener, which incorporates elements of Duke as well, is just fantastic. I mean, it's got this like drum and bass vibe to it too. And then the vocal samples that uh, are woven into this track are just fantastic. And it just instantly gets you hyped up because of the hey, hey, hey. It's just sampling sex, really. If you're a big slut, big slut, for sampling and you know incorporating great vocal samples into great instrumentals then you should be all over this because it is very very like slut worthy the absolutely stellar performance from bahamadia bahamadia um who is a rapper that i don't know much about i might even check her out after just listening to this ep here on the track Crypt uh, crypto it's just so bloody good like the way her delivery is so low key but it also adds a really nice atmosphere to the track. It's kind of like some early Missy Elliott sort of vibes, but if she was rapping over a footwork track, which would never have happened <laughs> in the early 2000s or even the late 90s, but just imagine that, and that'd be actually pretty sick. It's even got this like 80s Chicago house type feel to it as well, mixed in with some like 2010s hip house, some stuff that, you know, Azealia Banks was doing back in the early stages of her career. It's just got all the best combinations of all the greatest and coolest niche styles of music all incorporated into one. And um, it's just a killer track, even if you didn't think of all of those little comparisons that I just made there. The track method slaps so bloody hard as well. You've got the kind of like DJ Richard-esque vocals coming through on the uh, track as well, incorporated with the footwork instrumental. Uh, DJ Richard is a really big name for footwork music who also did die, which is a huge shame because um, some of his work has been absolutely stellar over the years. The album Double Cup is definitely an essential album for this style of music. And I feel like it's a good starting place as well if you were to listen to my review here and think, I don't really know much about the genres he's talking about. Well, I think, I think it might be better if you went to that album first and then played the CP next. The final track as well, it's got this like sport-like anthemic instrumental to it. It's just so energetic and in your face, very much reminiscent of the most recent Bauer album, which I absolutely loved as well. Once again, the vocal samples being thrown in are just so damn good. And there's really, nothing that you could change about this track because everything's placed so well. It's really a sign of how talented this guy is. I already knew how talented he was with the 2016 album anyway, but this EP is just really cementing that. Um, it really is a great EP and uh, it's actually the debut for the Fool's Gold record label as well. So it's, it's, it's looking good. It's looking good for DJ Swisher. Moving on up, Hopefully this review as well gives it more attention and you check it out based on what I'm saying because I do genuinely think it is really, really good and hopefully you like it as much as I do. Thank you for watching this review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you have a good day as well. Make sure you check this out. Make sure you check out the other albums I mentioned during this video too. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Subscribe if you haven't already and goodbye.